Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second round of this conference. Good luck for both of us. Um, it's going to be a tie match uh, of me and Lagarde. So I'm actually looking forward for fun chess and let the strongest win. So in our first game, I'm playing with black pieces. And we already have got some sort of uh, interesting position. Let's see what we get out of it. Actually, uh, we are same as Lagarde. Uh, we have played in lots of world junior, uh, world youth and junior championships together, but we never faced each other directly. In any competition, we have very one story, actually, uh, that uh, that was in 2015 when I was in Paris. Uh, I would study at the university that my cousin would, and they were actually studying at the same class also. So once I visited my cousin there and we eventually played a match the university, uh, we are same age, we have uh, roughly the same rating on, uh, on, on play chess, uh, on, on chess 24, sorry. And also, FIDE rating is close enough, so it's gonna be uh, fun, I promise. Even from the first game, we can say that uh, we, we got kind of awkward opening. And he sacrificed an exchange, which is interesting, but at the same time, a little bit dubious for me for the moment. Maybe I will change my mind soon. Hopefully not. So what if I go king f7 and I will try to harass the d6 pawn with somehow rook d8. Okay, he prevents the g5 move. I understand this. I go here, but I still take my four. Uh, I get my queen back. All right, so he's actually actually trying to get his bishop to e5. And how do I prevent this? Or I don't prevent this at all. Five. Okay, let's open up some files and time factor. I'm a little bit behind, so better I play a little bit faster. So bishop e5, he might be playing. I will go for rook g8 and hopefully take with the rook on g5. But if he plays h5, then what do I do? Okay, he went for this. How do I protect there? Or do I? Maybe I play like this. And I try to cancel it this way. Okay, if I should be fine. Uh, oh, I didn't even. See that this might be coming. All right, uh, here. So he entered with queen somewhere. I'm not quite sure where he goes. I dislike that factor that I blundered his last move. 
He tries to open up find some files, but hold on, all right. What if I got this? And some checks. Looks like it's the checkmate. So it was deflection because he could have closed with the bishop if I checked straight away. So nice, nice beginning. And I hope it goes the same way. Pretty much fun the first game was. It was a better start for me than compared. All right, he's fast enough to play knight c6, which surprised me a lot. But that's his style. Basically, he plays, you know, different openings and uh, he rather goes to some not really well famous positions. I will try to get some kind of end game. Um, however, I think black should do totally fine here in this position. So the question is, if I can maneuver my knight via c4 to d6, but oh, he lets me to do this. Let's take the opportunity and see what we get out of it. However, he also gets his knight to d4, which of course is good for him, but I will still try to get my knight to d6. All right, and what if I take and go for knight e2, try to swap off the knights and kind of play with bishop pair. And if he gets knight back, then for the moment, I don't know what I do. Maybe g3, h4 and bishop via h3, I will get my pieces back into the play. So c3, actually he can also leave it. What if I get my knight back to Back to d5, knight b6 probably, otherwise bishop is also coming to c4. So a4, a5, I think this is better for me. Sure, so far, it's complicated position, not, not so obvious the things are for me. Okay, I will go for this. And he gets the knight to d6 back. That's his probably plan, which is good enough. Uh, how do I play? I get back to d2. So, I mean, it's okay if he wants to get back to the knight. I still have got the bishop pair. I'll try to. Fully improved position of my king and pieces generally. So he wants to get active activity. However, any opening in the position should favor me because I've got bishop pair whilst he not. So I will be doubling. All right, he's trying hard to open the position. So let's try this. Well, I do not really get anything. So I will get my bishop to e2 and Bishop to f4 maybe will be very uh, annoying for the king. So my bishop, okay, I'm down on time yet again. So I should be playing a little bit faster. And of course, f3 is coming. Uh, I get my bishop to h3 and e6. So it will be very, uh, very complicated position. I should take and he takes, unfortunately, lots of pawns on f2 here, e3. I want him to play e3, rook h3, then I'm back into the game, but he gets, he does not play this. So if I go here, on f2, play bishop on f3, he runs away with the rook. It's correct for him. I don't know. Okay, now I have to take. 
I want him to play C4. Okay, that's good. At least I my C4 ideas. Another problems coming. How can I get my king away from knight C3s? Here. Yeah. H3 is what he's gonna do. He takes his time. I don't see it. D6. That's my last chance. H2, but I don't see a clear way how, how to stop it. Unfortunately, I do not stop it. Like this. And uh, okay, it's time to resign. It was a good game by him. And move on. It's 1 1. As I promised, it's going to be a tie match. Blank wins so far, and next game I'm black. Let's see how it works out for me. So he will be playing D4 probably yet again or not. He, he changed the strategy, but I don't change my first move. C5 yet again. And F4? Well, I guess. No, he did play D3, in fact. But of course, he gets back to his favorite sort of set up. Um, how shall I play it here? What if I go for E4 kind of ideas? A little bit awkwardly looking, but what if I play? It's actually going to be another fun game, hopefully. All right, we've got some sort of set up. Uh, okay, I might be taking the knight on f3 so to in order to em eliminate the knight all right so what if i take i cannot say that i like my position much because knight is coming to d5 and whenever i try to take it it will be a very powerful piece. That's a little bit annoying fact, but what to do? We shall live with this. We shall live with this. Just the other thing is that how to play on. F5, I'm just weakening my positions. B5, maybe I will try to get the pieces back into the play. Uh, there, there, there are no good plans for me. Let's try to play actively. All right. And F6, I should kind of overprotect. He will get the bishop to H3, which is, of course, understandable. But OK, now F5. Let's try it. I mean, I've got nothing else than play actively. All right, and if he takes, I'm perfectly fine, I guess. Well, he does not. He, of course, he keeps the tension in the position. I also try to keep some pieces alive. So he has more. What if I, how do I change? Okay, I try to change like this. I give up a pawn, however, I I get away from the night. I take here. Again, I'm seriously down on time, unfortunately. I try to double my rooks on F5, so I have protection on the F5 square. Okay, here. Here, I take it on F5. Oh, he has to take otherwise. Oh, no, not really. He has not. He doesn't have to. <sighs> Another worse position for me. But let's hope for tricks. Especially. All right. But with each move, I get less and less belief that I will have some tricks. Bishop to e3. He does. Really, I did not do this. 
What if I go for this? Okay, take. Give me exchange, but I will grab a pawn on c6, and the king is a little bit exposed. And with the time factor, I might be still having some chances. But let's see. E5. I'm not so much sure about this move. Let's go for queen b4, attack the bishop. Uh, so he gets there. I play this, so maybe queen d2 check might be there. Next, and if e6, my bishop is just opening, so I'm fine with that. If bishop f2, I don't see, okay, bishop e, f, okay, bishop e6, where does it go? What if I just take it? And then some checks. I can grab a pawn on a2, which is fine, I guess. All right. And what now? I want him to give a check. So can he actually close from the checks with the bishop only? He gives a try. He gave a try and it seems like he managed it. Um, and no checks anymore. All right, well played. Another victory for Maxim. Uh, oops, yeah, he has to challenge. Well, it was a good game. Uh, let's move on. Well, I could probably play a little bit better. However, it was a really fun game. I was probably outplayed in the opening part. Uh, and let's go. Let's go forward. I have three. This time we're going to play ourselves uh, like this and reversed and see if maybe I can do something with reversed. Uh, some connection issue. So pretty much understand the move so far, and I will try to attack in the center. So if G5, I will take on F5, so a little bit. Get the things after risks a bit, but it's understandable. I mean, this position probably allows this kind of ideas. Knight takes e4. I oh, I did not take it before I go h3, and I'm sort of fine with this unpinning. Knight f4. I would rather consider taking this knight because it's very strong. Try to get rid of this rook also on f4, but the other thing is like he's got some pressure. What if rook f7? I might be playing d4 and rook from a3 will be protecting the knight. So I like this kind of set up scenario okay i get my knight and the other knight of his is coming to g6 and probably next to f4 so i better take it into account and again i'm low on time he's playing fast that's what i realized every agent every game so what's the problem with knight on f4 the other question is I dislike the fact that night, yeah, night is coming very quickly. 
I should get out of this pin. And try to stabilize somehow. Knight d2, knight takes d4, I'm giving up the pawn back. I just want to kind of get away out of this tension and slowly try to get back into active you know, position. But what if I go like this? I gave up a pawn back, but you know, knight is coming to d e4 and then uh, d5. And I, I already got some advantage on the queen side space wise. So it should be a little bit. Ah, he can. All right, I'm sorry. Knight d4, queen g6, d5, knight takes g2. So like this. So what if I go for, for bishop e4, like that? Uh, let's give it a try. I don't know what happens. Actually, king where? Even g2 looks fine for the moment. And bishop h3 check. I go here. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay, detects e5, detects e5. And if he takes, then I have f3 move. If he does not, I do what? Bishop d5 seems all right because, because of like everything. And I should always watch out for the those kind uh, c6. I'm seriously down in time okay, here. Oh, I, I just gave up. Sorry. I seriously blundered. So, mm, not nice, not really nice. Good game, well done. 3-1 for the moment, and very good game by Maxim. And all right, B3 this time. The thing is that when he starts to play like random uh, openings, he feels these openings better a little bit because he has uh, more experience in them. So I I need to go for some positions that I'm a little bit more familiar with. Um, the start actually uh, the match started well for me, but it turned out to be. Was a warm up for him. So this time, the previous game was G3, this time B3. And let's try. He has got the bishop pair, but I've got stable position so far, it seems like. Minority attack, probably. Bishop a three, rook e eight. I did I blunder? Yes, sir. But not exactly that. It's very bad. I mean, I can probably take it back. I mean, take the pawn back. Especially with the fact that Bishop c four b five. If he takes, I will get a check from from b7, so he has to go back with the bishop, then I take on c3, and after recaptures, I will take on d4 eventually. into this trap. In fact, how to do I get the pawn back? Uh, what if I get a king? So now I'm threatening to take, and at the same time, trade all this 
small tricks by me. And what to do? Uh, I will try to get at least something back by attacking the bishop and a2. At the same time, I might be first including uh, bishop h6. F4, I will take on a2 and b3. So if like this, if bishop c2, then what do I do? Then rook c7 and how to protect c3. I don't see so far. Uh, ah. It was a just a blunder. Okay, I go for b5, so I want to provoke. D4, another attack on D4, and if queen protects, then I will be fine with, with bishop G7 this time because no queen takes H5 anymore. But queen, uh, queen D2, curious what he has prepared in this case. Seems like, okay, but h5, yeah, h5 was another annoying move. h5 is annoying, but uh, what do I do now? What do I do now? Um, what if I just get away with my king somehow? But I don't see any clear way of playing. Okay, I will go for this. I could have just played queen f4 rook h2, but this one does seem also to be enough. Probably he would just blunder. I give a check and then just... uh, tough match, tough match, but as I promised, it was fun. As, as I promised, it was fun. Okay, e4. C5, C3, a Lapin's variation. So let's go for this. Um, I mean, in this variation, Black basically accepts the fact that they will be playing with the isolated pawn. However, they get a uh, nice compensation due to activity uh, in the position. What if I go for Uh, bishop to d3 in order to prevent black from casting. However, I should have played bishop f4 probably. Now bishop c7 is uh, going to be a little bit annoying due to the... Okay, he did not. Try to take this diagonal and bishop on d3 is finally fine place placed. And now I, I don't want to play rook e1 because it weakens the f2 square a little bit. But how do I play? I don't see any continuations. So this early maneuver, the bishop, the bishop was kind of interesting. Okay, I still go for this. I don't see. Here and if knight e5, I will go for bishop e2. And what's wrong with that? If f5, how, how dangerous is that? Okay, I was expecting this move for him, but all right. And if I move my knight, he will always try to play the f3 move. And also, I should watch out for the 
f2 square. So maybe queen d2, rook to the game like this, I might be having some 95 ideas eventually. Oh, such a master yet again. Um, I wanted to play queen d2. For some reason, I played knight d2, which is sort of a okay move. I tried, uh, of course, he would play this as we were expecting with you, my friends. And I should blockade the bishop on b6, then I'm fine. But I failed to do so. So I get my knight back to d2. Check with the knight on f3. And then if bishop g3 and some other moves, then I will be right. First, he does not really want to give me all these opportunities because bishop g3 now he, he might be taking it. And I dislike my position now. Rook f1 is what I have to do. It's, it seems so artificial, like, oh my god, I just love g3. Good game. Good game, Maxim. Um, let's move on. He is doing pretty good. All right, and c4. I will go for c5. Knight c6, g3, g6, bishop, and I will be playing more or less uh, copy for the first few moves and then try to develop my knight to b7, castle, and see what he does. So he takes the center. If he plays d5, we kind of get Benoni structures. And if not, then, uh, then he might be taken here. Then I will take back. So my knight in this case should be not really worse than the knight of his on uh, f3. And why I play d6 is just after rook d1, I want to get my queen to c7 but here i can go even first b6 i will go my queen away from these squares okay let him play h5 what what's what with that i mean let's try to trade off some pieces uh, and get light squares i mean control over light squares it might be fine for me, yeah, but he likes to weaken some squares. I will get my knight to d4, of course. It's risky business for him to play this. Okay, I will try to exchange a pair of rooks. Unless, I'm, I'm doing fine unless I'm getting checkmated. That seems like I don't see a clear way how he can checkmate me for the moment. That's at least making me happy for the moment. And if I trade off some pieces, I will be doing totally fine. So time-wise, I'm also doing fine for the moment. I get my bishop back. So with the knight on d4, I should be all right. I should be all right. Um, of course, he wants to get control over dark squares. How do I prevent it? Probably I do not just like after like take, take, he will go for e5, like take, 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 check. Here we go. E5, I take, and then, okay, he did not play E5. And what I do is probably try to trade off the queens by getting my queen to E7, which should be all right. Uh, he should, yeah. 
what if I get my knight here? Mm -hmm. Some checkmating setups there are. So I should watch out for knight e4, rook h1, and stuff like that. Uh, well, knight e4 and knight comes to f6, with, that's very annoying. He did not do this so far, but for sure he consolidated. He consolidated pretty much. All right, I will get my king into, into active squares. And time factor is this time in my favor. Uh, what if I go for knight f5 take take? Seems this king is pretty good. Uh, I go here. What if I'm this king? He's back. And what I dislike was rook to b8. And if I go here, I'll try to. The fact that his time is low. Right, I would get disconnected. Unfortunately, well, that's happening. He does not see me. I did. Let me charge. Wait, let me charge. Uh, I'm challenging actually Maxim, but he's not kind of reacting.
Uh, all right, here we go. Time to come back. Uh, last game, it was very tough. Unfortunately, I lost due to disconnect. I had more time. But that's life happens sometimes, such things. So let's calm down and move forward, move on. Such things happen. Let's just play a better chess and do not have for any disconnects or something. All right. Just actively placed. I don't say that it's super required move. I just need better focus. He wants he, he, to get his knight to to f5 apparently. What if I go for this? Takes with the bishop. I will take with the pawn and I. Cover a five square. If not, I will get my knight f to d7 and then maybe to b6 or e5 somewhere. Here I would take, I would, I would transfer my knight and d5 just to open up position a little bit. He has nice initiative though. What if we get knight e5 or we get bishop f6, he will go probably for bishop g5. Five. What do I do then? Like this. He wants what? To get his knight to the e4 or what? Oh, bishop d4. Bishop d4 is so annoying. It's so annoying. How to trick him. Problem is that the after bishop f6 also g7 is coming. I don't have a move. Also, the queen is trapped somewhere over there. Such a bad play. Okay, rook g7. After rook g7, I might be still having some hopes with the fact that I have king h8. And so far the queen is pinned, so it cannot go to h6. Not that I'm seriously low on time. I'll try to trade off some pieces in order to relieve the tension. If have seven, then his king will be a little bit weak. So if both rooks are exchanged, I should take with the knight, which is not what I exactly wished, but it's still fine. And the problem is on f7 is hanging. Well, 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 and Queen is coming to d8. Queen is coming to d8. That's the serious problem. Problems never end. Knight of six. Let's try to hold for a little bit longer. Okay. I should be fine with that.
now we are well done in time. I'm two pounds down, but I will get one pound back probably. Like this. It has a check. Horrible. Horrible play. Good game, Maxim. Good match, generally. He updates me in almost every game. So, let's focus a little bit harder. First, Lima. I will play fast. I will try to play fast. Let's see what he got. F6, D6, C5 is what Carlson did play. That's what Maxim does. Carlson did play against another Maxim from France. That French I was black. Not the perfect setup I got, probably. But it's okay. I want to desperately get my knight on c3. I was expecting him to develop the bishop to g4 for some reason. Maybe I was wrong. And I'm a little bit having more time. <sighs> All right, now fireworks begin. What if I take here and take here or another blunder fest by me? He just takes on D1 and it's game over. It's game over. Unfortunately, like this, I wasn't expecting him to do this. However, even it might be possible. Let's fight on. We've got nothing else to do. That's just sad much for the moment. I'm going to be a sweeter. I have more time than me. That's not the help I basically have in the position. Thank <laughs> you. 
and uh, able to speak. Please, I mean, you weren't hearing me, so now after some change, I pretty much hope that uh, you can hear me better a little bit if you listen. And the match is on, it's six and a half, three and a half for Maxim, but uh, the game is on. It's never over till it's over. So we're going to give a fight. I challenge it, Maxim. He has to accept it. Um, he does not see or what? All right. Here we go, friends. Let's see six yet again. I go knight of three. D okay, D six here. D five. Let's use the opportunity of getting the center. He gets back. All right, that's a little bit slow play by him, but it's a blitz, so it's okay. I will try to play dynamically but the thing is that after some dynamic moves i should follow up with dynamic plans also if not then it's just not worth to speak about dynamism so after some exchange his position yet again yet, yet again is just fine and he's a little bit in front of time Okay, C6. Duck, duck, duck. Okay, I feel like it's okay. Now, C3. So it's pretty much equal position again. What favors, of course, him because he's very much in front of the match. Score and any draw is making his life a little bit easier in terms of approaching to the, you know, eight and a half score. Um, but we're gonna try to fight on, not accept the draw. It should be six or eight, six is what we can do. G3, I go here. Mm -hmm. Bishop here. All right, he's, Safe enough. I mean, he's totally safe. Okay, this this was surprising decision. Surprising for me. Why to do even anything like this? Should be five, and it's just not like it has more moves. He offered me a draw, but of course, uh, it's against my principles since I'm doing not really great in the score. However, I don't see any clear continuations. All right, I provoked a five that was actually 
uh, not really fantastic achievement. How do I improve my position? That's the question. Okay, I will eventually go for before. But the thing is that his all poles are in are placed perfectly on light squares, and I cannot really improve my position with with simple play. Okay, I should accept the draw now, I guess, unfortunately. Okay, four seven is doing good job and he is approaching the result of his dream to get eight and help. I like Karin's defense. Since childhood, I was playing this opening a lot. I don't use it, unfortunately, recently because of its dubiousness on the top level, because they all know how to basically play against it. But why not to give a try in a Blitz exhibition match? Wait. All right, I get my knight to c4, probably, and knight f5. So this is typical to ally kinds. This variation, I've got some options. I can even try for queen b7, or protect them on f5, kind of picture, but I blunder on d5. I mean, knight is on a5 is hanging, but on d4 is also hanging for him. So what if bishop f5, I go knight c4, maybe knight d5 is coming. Not good for me. Not good news for me, but all right. What happened already is in the past, we keep on fighting. I saw this, but I was kind of fine with how oh, we should rooksify this. I did not see, but what if I go here and an f4? Bishop takes d4 next. So it's getting interesting. It's getting interesting. Also, he has to watch out for some tricky ideas with bishop f2. Of course, he sees it. F3, and I tried to expose his king's guard, and if I manage it, I have very good chances. He gets the queen back to the defense, which is understandable. And let's give a try for something that he does not ex uh, expect. I think taking it makes most sense. Queen e2. I will get rook e6, rook g6 if I can. If not, uh, all right, queen takes a8 is what he intends to do. I see it, I prevent it. Rook e1 or not. I go, I go back with the bishop. He tries to block with the bishop g3, right? He does what he does, h5. I go for h4 ideas, also I get my uh, air for my king uh, on h7 square just in case of some back rank problems. And at the same time, h5, h4 is the idea. So that's what he does. He plays himself h4. Uh, if I try to play actively, rook to e4. If rook e1, I'm happy just to take it. And if here, okay, uh, what do I do? I should be watching out for rookie one now because not getting check over there. What if they take, take? I cannot really do anything here. What do I play? What do I play? Here. 
I, I did not just protect from that was horrible, my, my friend. That was horrible. Rookie one, what did I do? I should take. I gave him lots of, all right, here. Rookie one still, then I'll take, take, take on C7, checks there. What if I take straight away on C7? Take through C7. Let's have fun. Uh, complicated business here. Oh, queen. And I take them and I protect and see it. That, that was the trick of mine. Uh, I was hoping that uh, he gets back with the bishop. So the match is on. Okay, here I go this. Uh, what I like about Lagarde, he does not repeat of his in the next game. I'll try to go for before kind ideas. How does he prevent it? He does not. He goes for this. <sighs> uh, it's stressful much, my friend. Very stressful. I go for B4. I'm taking some risks because my D5 and lots of things are there in the air. However, I feel like I can go knight B3 later on and I should be doing more or less fine. Lots of complications. He can go back with the bishop. I will take on D5. Bishop is six. I get my uh, queen back to D1. I can play also D6, but this should be probably played. Uh, I get my queen back somewhere. I'll try to protect on a5, which is my only, I mean, main hub, not the only, but main hub. Uh, the fact that I have passer. Let's now try to improve the position of pieces. Get the rook somewhere here. All right, then I'm fine with exchanging these bishops because his bishop is stronger than mine. And materially, I'm doing okay. Oh, C3 is what he tries to do. Can I take uh, rook C8? I go rook D3 at least to this, that. It seems like I can. Here and knight to a2. That's why I get my knight to c1 in order to protect with the knight we through a2. So I, I was expecting rook a5, of course, but now what I planned was queen to somewhere and just protect the main squares. Probably here, rook c3, rook d3, I don't have any problem with this diagonal. And if not, then we will be just uh, exchanging and he'll probably just take, 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 and then uh, queen a6 is what he's gonna probably do. Yeah, as we have expected. And I will hope for some Okay, that's not nice news for me. I should take, 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 then feel good. What if I give a check and then go here? Okay, that's my kind of last try, otherwise. But I don't like my try, apparently. Still, a try is a try. 
if I point D5 and then I will be up here, I might be taking some pawns or get my king away. Okay, now it becomes yet again trickier because we know that the queen with, uh, with the knights can be very tricky. Their best partners on, in crime uh, here. I don't know what exactly I. All right. To where? Uh, H2. Take it here. Here and I'm sort of like very solid. He can force a draw with Quintex D3, but he does play, of course, for a win because also he has good more time. That's one of the main factors. Otherwise, I don't think I'm much worse here. This. Oh, hey, hey that's fun. I'm just lost there. I, I should have played probably just queen e3 or something, but he was probably intending to play f6. He needs only half a point. So let's try to come back. Let's play energies and fast enough to, to fight on. Here we go. And this time, knight c4. It's risky business. c4 pawn is actually weakening a lot, but it has to go bishop c1. That's what I recall. But uh, that's another story. So he goes here. Uh, it's fine. It's fine for me. Uh, I go knight to c6. Knight to a5 is next move. If he takes, then what do I do? Uh, I forgot that he can do. Okay, he did not take. He doesn't really want to change the structure of position b6. But I, I do want, I do want to get rid of the c5 pawn. And if I do, then I'm getting fine position. And he blunders something. I feel like I can take it here and take on c5. And the things get a little complicated here. I mean, in terms of the match. I pretty much look forward to get this game. Knight b4, first of all, because if bishop c5, knight d5 was coming. And what if I take now? It will be not easy. Well, 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 I was seeing this, of course, but I saw something that I dislike now, unfortunately. Uh, queen. Takes up three, nine before. Yeah, and there's a three. This. Okay, what do I do? I just probably need to go somewhere with the queen, and then position should be fine. Um, we should take some three, take there. Should see like this. What do I do? I lost lots of time. Here. I mean, let's keep the pressure on. <sighs> that was good move. I hope. But, oh my god, what what the hell did I do? I just forgot that my bishop is hanging on d5. I'm probably too tired today for the match. But what to do? We shall play on and help her best. I just, you know, ruined all the advantage I had. I should have gone for queen a5 or something. I just plundered bishop c5. It was the silliest move I could have ever done in that position. But what to do? He needs only a draw. That's very sad. Rook d8. 
if e4, well, I am not really understanding what he does. Unite there. I don't really want to do this movement in not exactly seeing any other option. E4, E4, Queen B6. Like E4, Queen B6 is. Knight F4 is also a possibility. Then he might be playing Queen to F6, but I go for this. I have kind of solid position, but he goes for G4. Oh no, oh no, that's horrible. That's horrible now. That's just not, that's just not good. That's just not good. Let's, all right, that's just basically game over, probably. Sad, I had serious advantage in this game, but I I just made a huge blunder. Let's steal, fight on. Okay, sure, I mean, somehow he will be trying to checkmate me. Uh, but, but again, I'm reminding them throw is enough for him. Rook F2, okay, Rook H4 is what we were expecting. So trading off one pair of rooks, Rook H7, are not here. Let's try to fight on. My, my knight is a little bit limited, so I will get it to E5. Very nice. Uh, improvement in the position and I will try to run with the pawn uh, here. Bishop to d1. What do I do now? Here, here. Uh, I go forward. I go here, a5. Okay. I go here, here, take, here, 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 uh, give some checks, down. Oh, oh God, also awesome. impressive. Um, I feel lucky now. I feel lucky after this match. It was very tense. I was very. It was very close to be the end of the match with uh, zero point zero two seconds, and I'm still in the game. I'm still in the game. F five. All right. Oof, that was. Very interesting match, I should say. I'll try something very unique. Not certain, like, what is this? What is this? Probably it's just bad due to understandable reasons. But I need to go for some crazy house positions. What actually Maxim likes. I give up a pawn on F3, but Okay, castle knight takes d5. That's the trick. Knight e4 is also a trick. Lots of tricks there. Knight takes d5. Let's do this. Queen f3. Bishop f4. And bishop c4, sorry. So take here. Take here. Now it's becoming seriously unclear, but I've got two pawns up position, which should be not so bad for me. That's what I know, extra material is good, but we should also know how to uh, deal with this, deal with extra material. I don't see Milford at the moment. Like, uh, I'm not just frozen. Okay, I got this. I'll try to get my bishop to e4. I dislike a5 move, but the thing is that after bishop e4, I will attack the knight and then try to, yeah, if it is, I will try to uh, get my pieces back into the play. Next is queen to c3. 
and uh, and look, looks like I'm doing more or less fine. So Quincy three, there is actually a threat with Bishop H seven right here. <sighs> like this, it's challenging. I will go for this. Just simple pawn up end game with a bishop pair. Uh, also, also, I mean, should be fine for me. I start pushing my pawns. Let's see what how far I can get with this here. I dislike the fact that he forced me to exchange one pair of bishops, but I, I will activate my king eventually and try to play b4, b5. Uh, also, my rook might be coming to, okay, h3 is good, good move, just blocking knight g4 ideas and knight f3, so there is no uh, attack on the, on the pawns. And what if I push forward? Uh, how do I push it? I got this. Take control over D file. And I will still try to push my pawns. And it said that bishop is uh, superior when especially you got pawns on the both flanks. Right after king d4, I don't see follow continuation basically for black. If nothing, I will get my okay here. All right, I go this. I go here. Should be should be somehow winning now. I hope. Uh, what if I start pushing my pawns? This way. Should be winning somehow. H8 is black square. I'm very happy about this fact. And I'm blockading everything and nexus. I'm collecting on C6 and should be winning. All right, let's 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 play on. I like finds it again. Um, in six here, I think. Here, here. Mm, D5. I go this yet again. Similar positions. Yeah, he took this time. Here. What if I go back? I'm okay with this type of positions to give up a pawn, but Go for the dynamics. Mm, F5. I try to open up some files like this. What happens if we go for knight b4? Oh, d6. I blundered d6. Oh, God. That's so bad. That's so bad. <sighs> Welcome to the blunder fest. I mean, I pretty much hope that I'm not the only one overall to blunder this much in banter blades. Otherwise, I would be ashamed. 93. Let's keep fighting. So F. Or next, I'm protecting with the G6 bishop. I'm, yeah, denied. 
if you take some d3, then I will take it, of course, and then, but if this, then I take here, and I'm yet again doing fine. I might be getting bad with the right. I'll go for b6 simply. Bishop f4, I have bishop c3. If not, I will get bishop to d3 probably, and then it's not easy task for him. Uh, doesn't he blunder a queen? I hope he does. Uh, he gets some counterplay though, some activity with the knights. But uh, I've got a queen, queen to h4. Uh, I take. He will get king h2. I assume. <laughs> Not king g2. All right, I go here. I'll try to get rook d2, f3 check, and then try for checkmating ideas here. And rook queen g3 is a, another threat. Uh huh. This I did not see. What if I go for d3? Or just. Queen h3 is checkmate. <sighs> okay, so that's a nice comeback. And what now? I don't know the tiebreak system. <sighs> it was a dramatic end. I was eight, five low. 8-5 losing, but now it's 8-8. Eight, eight. And what about now? How the tiebreak system is. Sorry? Ah, all right, okay, okay. I thought it's like until eight, okay. Uh, here we go. Before this, Russell Lima yet again, and let's see what he gets this time. Again, we enter these structures. Uh, he goes for this. What if I go for e5? I just trying to Get the things unclear. All right. Queen to e2. Rook to e1. I don't want to let him castle easily. At the same time, I get queen c4 ideas. So, okay, now. That was expectable. Nice c3, I will get. Okay, this is the check. I will take the grab upon. Take it. Queen to d6 looks nice. I mean, it play, it's placed awkwardly, but it's strongly placed. Knight to e5, I attack the bishop. That looks decent. What about knight d5 kind ideas? And then bishop g5. He moves bishop. Knight d5, bishop f5. Take, take. Nice c6, knight to d4. Let's go for it. Uh, my plan is to somehow cancel the date and take control over d4 square. All right, and I will go here. And later, if I manage to control d4 and do not 
get any trouble with this, then I'm totally fine with extra pawn. H3, G4, right? This happening there. So he should be watching out for this. I take. All right, I go back with the knight. H3, G4 all the time. Uh, like he wants to get with the knight to c4 i guess but i will get knight to a4 and i have very solid uh, position also knight d5 is there knight takes d5 rook d5 knight f5 he sees that but knight takes e4 um, oh my god he he just <laughs> F5, F4, last hop. I mean, I just totally blundered that he protects with the knight on this side. I rushed with my decision. Uh, okay, let's see here. I rushed totally with my decision. Okay, that's what he had to do. I can take on H7, but it will be ending up with exchange. So I go here. I give a check. I go here. What if I do this? At least I improved the position of my rook, and now my king is a little bit free. And I might be heading with the king to active squares. I give a check. I take it to g4. I mean, it's not it's not two games, white and black. Are you sure? Because because I saw in Musar games against uh, like someone, uh, one was winning, then the other was winning, and it was like fifteen thirteen at the end. Yes, yes. So we have played seventeen games already. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but in Musaf's game against uh, against, I don't remember whom he was playing, but it was like Musar was winning. It was nine and a half, eight and a half. Then it was yet again nine and a half, nine and a half. So one was winning, and then rematch. The other was winning. Oh, okay, I thought I thought there are like two colors. And is it three minutes or one minute? All right. Uh, okay. 
his challenge is gone. I can challenge him anyways. So I am challenging him now again. I'm curious if he sees. I challenge it. Uh, yeah, I, I saw I saw his challenge, but then it disappeared. Uh, two guess. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it's it's fine. Thank you. So, dear friends, now. The match is tie, so we both reached eight and a half at the same time. It means tie break awaits us. And it is already like whatever we had done until now is just uh, past. And for the moment, for the present time, we shall focus on the next match like best out of two. If it's still tie, uh, we're gonna move on and play some more games. As, was it, as it was predicted, and as I already told in the very beginning, I promised it to be interesting. And I am pretty much concerned that I proved it. So as we promised it, it's interesting and let's wait for the laggard to accept the challenge. Uh, but let's think about the strategy. Shall we keep on playing Aleka's defense, which brought us uh, quite some points? Or as Dvoretsky says, you don't need to repeat the same line for couple of games, but he's not accepting the challenge. Maybe he's actually repeating some lines in Alekhan. Sorry? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. All right. So G3, here we go. Thank you. All right, let's see what this opening brings us this time. And we go for D5 straight away. Like, let's try to exchange the knights. This knight was more active than mine. Uh, all right, he's ready to push B4, but he blunders actually in peace. But of course, the game is not over. We know it's just a blunder fest. And it will be even not easy to win this one. I'm pretty much hoping for another blunder of his. Um, all right, get back with the bishop, take it here. I need to get rid of the pawns on the queen side so I don't get any trouble with that. So far, he tries to put some pressure on me over there. It's not going to be easy, of course, because he is going to show some resistance. Let me attack his group. Another attack. Another attack, and now. I get my bishop to probably c5. At the same time, I'm attacking the a3 pawn. So if I get a3 pawn, then I should be doing fine, more or less. And if rook, rook there, what if I take on a3 and get my bishop back to c5 or somewhere? Okay, he does not let me this. But I get knight c4 ideas. 
and where he moves his queen. D3, I go here, I push D5, I go here, I go this, okay. Okay, he tries to trick me. What about knight f5? It looks okay to me for the moment. And knight e7, I'll try to get rid of this monstrous bishop on d5. Queen e4, I get bishop g7. So he takes there. I also take, and what about bishop takes g3? Does it work? Seems so. If he takes, um, should be working. I go this. Okay. Little bit risky business, but that's not about the risk now. Uh, okay, I should play a little bit faster. His king is a little bit exposed, and queen g5 will be my next move. I could have played knight d6, try to save the piece, but why not this? Check. Another check. Another check. I go here. And knight to f3 is my next move. Most probably, and should be good for me. If I attack the group, we should have still. How do I win it? I give a check. Another check. Check. I take, I have enough, enough time, hopefully, to convert this one. Let's get away from any kind troubles with queen g6 and bring the rook into the play. He should resign now. Yeah. And what now? Yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you. It was very tough. Come back. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for watching. And let's meet on the round three. Bye.